Before that, while most schools are broken up for Christmas, for the thousands of children who are educated at home, not much will change. The number of homeschooled children in London has soared up 500% in the last decade. So what's driving that increase and is it possible to get a proper education in your kitchen? We sent Ryan Ramgobin to find out. Today is a normal school day for Erin and Kiki, but their classroom is the local park and their teacher is their mother. I don't feel um, comfortable with the way state education is at the moment. I feel it's very much a one size fits all. Um, and they're looking at the child as a number rather than as an individual, and each child learns differently. Yes! Erin and Kiki are just two of a growing number of children home-educated in London. <laughs> Research obtained under the Freedom of Information Act shows the number of children educated at home has grown to nearly 4,000 in the capital, an increase of more than 500% in the last 10 years. One reason is the competition for school places. London particularly has problems that the rest of the country doesn't have. Um, the majority of the country, most pupils get into their first choice school. That's not the case in London. Um, maybe only 50 to 60 percent are getting into their first choice school. Unlike traditional education, there is no accountability and no inspectors, which fuels concerns about safety and social skills. There is evidence that children who are home educated have better academic grades, but uh, I do think that there are some social things that they will miss out on. And when a child goes to nursery and is part of that quite intense group of children their own age, they learn for the first time about people who are completely different from them and behave completely differently. Home education um, may lead to greater attainment levels, but what do you think of people who say that it doesn't give kids the, the real life skills they need? Um, I'd say that they're wrong. Um, I think they are more adaptable at socialising with people of any age, whereas school children, I find, because they're only used to being around children of their own age, they socialise only with that age group. Girls, we're going to head back now. We're going to get some lunch, yeah? Experts predict the dramatic rise will continue, meaning children like Erin and Kiki will become less of a minority. But with greater numbers, calls for regulation will become louder. Ryan Ramgobin, ITV News, Wembley.